memorable name to hi- following the memorable name to history. The story behind the freedom of this country is victory. See, people say that this is the same country that bore the pain our children suffered in vain with their hands and legs bound by the chains that enslaved them. Fought her way through the dark era of colonialism. Held on farm and hoped for better days during those hard trying times when she was ruled by a dictator. A man who took over her, terrorized her children and left them in pieces from which they are still trying to recover. People say that Gambia is a peaceful place with an amazing culture. A nation so nice with a beautiful structure that it is home of legends with great legacies, home of icons who are praised with the struggles of whom the red, white, blue, white, and green flag was raised. A nation known for its peace, love, and unity, inhabited by people blessed with beautiful smiles of humanity. See, I am not denying any of that, but see, Gambia, Gambia is not everything people say it is. Do you know? Do you know that in the Gambia, corruption resides in the hearts of leaders? A place where politicians have plastic smiles fit on their fake faces, other sweet words, and trick people into believing their nation builders. Instead, instead they're actors and two-faced cheaters. The majority of the young people in the Gambia are currently unemployed, even though they have the results, the degrees, the masters, and all other required papers, which is why a lot of Gambian youth embark on the risky journey of illegal migration, a journey that costs most of them their lives as they drawn into that dream crushing ocean. You see, instead of figuring out solutions to this problem, everybody is busy pointing fingers. The young people, the young people blaming the government for not creating employment opportunities, for not giving them a chance to prove their capabilities. And the government, well, the government blaming the young people for their lack of diligence. See, Gandhi being I just boy Bujanga by high school and all of a sudden drops out because he can no longer cope with the school system which he believes is too tough. Mutokir, where is I want you to know what the company better? And when he's tired of this, he turns to the streets and earns himself a certificate in robbery, trap and drug abuse. So for your land, the cabinethood, how this amut chona biaga na beli gijehood mandar jisa tu madara dugu them back way. See, in this country, everybody dreams to live in luxury, but instead we dwell in never-ending poverty. Do you know why? See, I'll tell you why. It's because in the Gambia, people don't oppose each other with new ideas or innovations. No. In this country, people compete each other with duty and witchcraft connect the whole of someone with bad intentions. So do not be surprised that there is still no development in our nation. See, we are blessed with beautiful black skins, but we have hatred and jealousy in the blood flowing through our thickest veins. Just for power, people in this country commit the darkest sin. The Gambia being I just could rare so I knew what they were surrey, even though more than half of the Gambian populace practices agriculture. In this country, a man can rape an innocent girl, take away her, cry in the silence of the night and get away with it because we are so blessed by our culture. We don't even support our own. Thing I just a promoter who is willing to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to a foreign artist but is never willing to do the same for his own. So the Gambian artists will all they show. The number of people who find them you can count and know why check this if a foreign artist bring you it. Kuneka diligent halis for clothes and tickets, all of that just for show. I mean I know the Gambian music industry has some work artists who only release crappy songs. Some who are too busy hating and beefing on each other, which is totally all wrong. But there are a few good ones who are hardworking and have proven to be strong. So why can't we appreciate and support our own? Maybe you need to see the Kabi Dega New Gambia. Well, I'll tell you something. There is no New Gambia. There is just a new government ruling over the old corrupt system, a system under which we are all victims. In this so-called New Gambia, everybody writes and says what they want and call it democracy. Well, I don't know if it's just me or everybody else is actually turning democracy to the new government. We know y'all want to make our nation rise. Turn it to a country that will take all by surprise. But see, even development comes with a price. We have voted for change once. Who says we can twice? Power of freedom. I guess we can. Again, Balalma. Damasona. Damatai Damatjahle As Lala said, we voted for change once. Who said we can't twice? I'm just getting off work. I work 16 hours. Watcha them Topotos Mahale Jelilin School. Them Dawi Benyoni Mangi Foro Mangi Sona. I know all that. But as my day goes by, 
I continue to think. And the lyrics that, that Lala is saying in this song, I don't know if you guys are paying attention to it. I'll play it in the background. Get the, the lyrics that this young lady is saying. It's not a joke. Bilahi. Limane kadi khalat. Not for me, not for you, but for our parents, our, our, our kids, our grandkids, what is their fate? What is their fate? People say that Gambia is a peaceful place with an amazing culture, a nation so nice. So much going on in our country today. It baffles me, it surprises me, it confuses me. Red, white, blue, white, and green flag was raised. A nation known for its peace, love, and unity. Inhabited by people blessed with beautiful smiles of humanity. What happens to all that? What happens to all of that? Do you know? Do you know that in the Gambia, corruption resides in the hearts of leaders? A place where politicians have flashed. Woke up to the news of the court case of Yakumba Jete. Instead, instead they're actors and, and everything that's going on the of the young at the Supreme the Court are currently unemployed, even though they have the results, the degrees, the masters, and all other required papers, which is why court be your ruling Bobo on the risky journey of illegal migration, and of course, that ruled against Yakumba Jete's favor. The injunction being a ham name in Koran file, everybody is busy pointing fingers, the young people, as that was young happening young right there. For not creating employment we saw Sirif Bojang Jr., the, the president of the Gambia Press Union, of course, having a verbal altercation, Besaga Falamin Jai of the Fatu Network. Sirif is somebody we look up to. He is supposed to be the person that protects the rights of the journalists. He knows the pain faced by journalists. He was there in the field as a journalist. Of course, Buya Goodney, he has written an apology. Because in the Gambia, people don't oppose each other with new ideas or innovations. No. In this country, people compete each other with judges and witchcraft, connect the whole tomorrow with bad intentions. So do not be surprised that there is still no development in our nation. No wonder there is still no development. Then they are competent with good ideas and innovations. Juju's witchcraft a kugena munsamorom. Watching Sirif Junior and Lamin Jai's encounter. This young man was just looking for information. So Lalaje, as simple as ABC, if you are busy, if you don't have much to say, if you cannot do much, just tell the young man, I'm sorry, I can't. Whatever you are going to say. Instead, ended up cursing him out, and this was caught on camera. He apologized. But I am really disappointed with Sirif. Lulu happened at the courthouse while Yakumba Jete's case is going on. With all that drama, we don't know the fate of that Nakala Momuje, everything that has been said about that. So many ideas contradicting and conflicting ideas. So intellectuals, you get debate on that issue left and right. Some are saying, yes, it is illegal. Some are saying it's legal for the president of SAG uh, nominated National Assembly member. Intellectuals, you know what I'm saying? debate. And we are hearing so many, we are hearing so much information that is saturating our brains. It's sad and it's unfortunate. While we patiently await our fate on that, a final ruling is not done. Whether she's going to go back to the assembly or not. A final ruling is not done on that. While she's awaiting the final ruling, you get Sirif Boyang Ak Yakumajed. Waha Gunchilo Lunan data why? Ngon Gidalal nyu, with of course the firing of the UDP3, Lamin Diba, Amadou Sane, and former VP lawyer Usain Udabo. Where are we headed to? It's a very interesting day for Gambia. Yes, with beautiful black skins, but we have hatred and jealousy in the blood flowing through our tickets' veins. Just for power, people in this.
culture. In this country, a man can rape an innocent girl. It's so sad. You know data why? The same government, Nyungi Dega, the issue of deportation, hearing conflicting stories. We did all that we could to try to press the government to talk to them and engage them with everything that was happening. The government, of course, ended up announcing that they have put a moratorium on the deportation. There is no more deportation. Well, guess what? We are getting conflicting information information coming from Germany. Lingurgi wak agli Germany di wak from what we see are completely different. So the mahamu reu mo hamne sude si nakante reu mo hamne sude si njunjaj reu mo hamne sude si play games reu mo hamne sude si lekante reu mo hamne kumun sa morom duma. Reo mo hamne is the survival of the fittest. Reo mo hamne is a crab in a barrel syndrome. Ku egg besi ko nyo ketela wachela besi suf. With regard for nobody. I wonder when will we prosper as a country. I'm just thinking because there are so many things going on. So many dirty and nasty things going on in Deka. You imagine this should not be. So many dirty and nasty things going on in our country. You imagine the yenai yangu don't forget the hale inyoko def and not maki. Yenai yangu imagine the new jangu inyoko def and not the intellectuals with the degrees and the knowledge and the papers and the experience. You would imagine the yenai gune inyoko def and not magni. You will imagine the yenai support us inyoko def. And not the leaders themselves. Lide mo ma jahal man. Damasona nak. But I am sitting here and just trying to digest this. While I'm thinking mange khalat. And I just needed to digest this. I just needed to come and just vent this out. In the process. I couldn't do any better. But to play Lala's song. And listen to read the spoken word piece. And listen to what she had to say. The story behind the freedom of this country is victory. Just listen to the song. If people say that this is the same country that bore the pain. Our children suffered in pain with their hands and legs bound by the chains that enslaved them. For her way through the dark era of colonialism. Held on farm and hoped for better days during those hard trying times when she was ruled by a dictator. A man who took over her, terrorized her children and left them in pieces from which they are still trying to recover. People say that Gambia is a peaceful place with an amazing culture. A nation so nice with a beautiful structure that it is home of legends with great legacies, home of icons who are praised with the struggles of whom the red, white, blue, white and green flag was raised. A nation known for its peace, love and unity, inhabited by people blessed with beautiful smiles of humanity. See, I am not denying any of that, but see, Gambia, Gambia is not everything people say it is. Do you know? Do you know that in the Gambia, corruption resides in the hearts of leaders? A place where politicians have plastic smiles fixed on their fake faces, other sweet words and trick people into believing their nation builders. Instead, instead they're actors and two-faced cheaters. The majority of the young people in the Gambia are currently unemployed, even though they have the results, the degrees, the masters and all other required papers, which is why a lot of Gambian youth embark on the risky journey of illegal migration, a journey that costs most of them their lives as they drown into that dream crushing ocean. You see, instead of figuring out solutions to this problem, everybody is busy pointing fingers. The young people, the young people blaming the government for not creating employment opportunities, for not giving them a chance to prove their capabilities, and the government, well, the government blaming the young people for their lack of diligence. See, Gambia Vingai just boy Bujanga by high school and all of a sudden drops out because he can no longer cope with the school system which he believes is too tough. Wow. Everybody is busy pointing fingers at the next person. So many problems going on. They can deal with responsibility. We are all busy pointing fingers at the next person. Kuneka, Kila, Kelela. Is this person's fault? Is the next person's fault? Like I said, four to five issues happening today. Waking up to Yakumba Jete's court hearing. Seeing Sirif Ginyo, I'm treating Lamin, I'm, I'm, I'm or talking to Lamin, I'm, I'm jai, uh, uh, like that. Um, uh, the firing of um, this young um, um, uh, 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 Naka, President, Vice President Usainu Dabo and the UDP um, uh, uh, too, Lamins uh, um, uh, uh, Nakarenko Oye. 
Honestly, the name is even explicit. Amadou Sane and Mr. Diba, Lang Diba, Lamin Diba. And of course, we are talking about the deportation of Gambians. As we speak, some hours ago, La Amkuma called from Casablanca, a Gambian being deported from the United States and was telling me about it. From Casablanca, Lama called. This minute, this second, that person is in a flight to the Gambia. The issue of deportation is on. Earlier this morning, we also woke up to the video, to, to the news of the demise of Fanta Konjira. Ngahamne is a young lady, 23 years old. I'm dumb. I'm, I'm a hard problem. New demon a month ago, them sakul kondimbal. Wa bansang ak nyene ni japaleko. As they try to get her help now, she passed away this morning. Too late! Our medical system is dilapidated. We don't have the resources. We don't have the facilities. We don't have um, uh, uh, any of the things we need to be able to get the job done. Yet, every year, the University of the Gambia, the colleges and the School of Medicine and others will graduate hundreds of people with no jobs for these people. With the hospitals, there are no equipment to take care of it. Ndekon, three weeks ago, one month ago, Mala Mane, her life could have been saved because struggle na luneka in Gambia. Ndekon, may her soul rest in peace. Fanta Konjira, mi rir tei. You don't rir. Our hospital barely has drugs, barely has equipment. Barely has any of the things we need. Our politicians, instead of working towards fixing these things, instead of working towards fixing these problems, instead of working towards addressing these things for the Gambia, we are busy pointing fingers at each other like Lala said. Nobody wanting to take responsibility. People for their lack of diligence. See, Gambia bring out this boy with employment opportunities. But not give dream crushing ocean. You see, instead of figuring out solutions to this problem, everybody is busy pointing fingers. The young people, the young people blaming the government for not creating employment opportunities. For not giving them a chance to prove their capabilities. And the government, well, the government blaming the young people for their lack of diligence. See, Gambia bring out this boy with younger by high school and all of a sudden drops out. Because he can no longer cope with the school system. Which he believes is too tough. Muto kill, where is I wajuram while muto the camping beta? Mora Mugura and Bukara Munako, Bro Nakala, Fajma Fajiki at Iowai. And when he's tired of this, he turns to the streets and earns himself a certificate in robbery, trap and drug abuse. Superiorian, the cabinehood, Halis Amu, Chona Biaga, and the Beligi Jehud, Manda Jesa to Madara, the Dutam Bakwe. See, in this country, everybody dreams to live in luxury, but instead we dwell in never ending poverty. Do you know why? See, I'll tell you why. It's because in the Gambia, people don't oppose each other with new ideas or innovations, no. In this country, people compete each other with judges and witchcraft, connect the whole of someone with bad intentions. So do not be surprised that there is still no development in our nation. Instead of you figure out solutions to our problems, instead of you come together to figure out these issues that I talk about, the issue of deportation, the issue of our, our, our health sector, and all other things that are bothering our country, lack of education and all the other stuff dilapidated system we are busy fighting over power our politicians our leaders are failing see we are blessed with beautiful black skins but we have hatred and jealousy in the blood flowing through our tickets veins just for power people in this country commit the darkest sin even though more than half of the Gambian populace practices agriculture. In this country, a man can rape an innocent girl, take away her, cry in the silence of the night and get away with it because we are so blinded by our culture. No matter how this is Gambian, we don't even support our own. Being I just a promoter who is willing to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to a foreign artist but is never willing to do the same for his own. So for Gambian artists will all day show. The number of people you find them, you can count and know why. Check this if you follow artists be new it. Kuneka diligently highly school clothes and tickets, all of that just for show. I mean, I know the Gambian music industry has some work artists who only release crappy songs. Some who are too busy hating and beefing on each other, which is totally all wrong. But there are a few good ones who are hardworking and have proven to be strong. So why can't
important we appreciate and support our own. Like if we do see the be in New Gambia, well, I tell you something. There is no New Gambia. There is just a new government ruling over the old corrupt system, a system under which we are all victims. In this so-called New Gambia, everybody writes and says what they want and call it democracy. Well, I don't know if it's just me or everybody else is actually turning them crazy. To the new government, we know y'all want to make our nation rise. Turn it to a country that will take all by surprise. But see, even development comes with a price. We have voted for change once. Who says we can twice? Power of freedom. Power of freedom. It comes with a price. We have voted for change once. Who said we can twice? My last word to Gambians, let's open our eyes. I forgot to mention the land dispute issue where we watched yesterday the people from Gunjur threatening. They said they are sitting on a timing bomb. I'm quoting one of the elders from Gunjur. Said they are sitting on a timing bomb because of the land dispute issues they are having with some of the other people in the other communities like the people of Berending the Sanyankunda family the Jola family Sanyankunda of Berending and the people of Gunjur some of the people of Gunjur because according to them um, um, uh, 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 there's a young person in Berending who is actually um, uh, taking advantage of the situation they encroach on their land the jail send land the ko jai the the jamsen boy paka the touchen tanki motoi aki mo def yep you know definitely you know that the matter has gone all the way to the president and the president hasn't done much according to the old pa wa gunjur nyungi toxic timing bomb and when it explodes it's not gonna be good nga jogi fufu nga dem si deki njagoy we're talking about Tanene. We're talking about Ndia village. We're talking about all other Manjago village. Nyom tamit nyune enof it. Enof send back and lens it tech because there are families that are coming from Sanyang and other places that are coming for their land. Finger ham ne nyom falen deka for hundreds of years. Fala send grandpa parents deka. Falen chul send family members and they cannot afford to see that happen. Nyom tamit send it back and lens for tech. So we are talking about land dispute issues in the Gambia right now. The Kabangi Jakaso every day, you get the Galudu. Instead of our leaders trying to find solutions to this, they are busy fighting over power. Land dispute. If Manjagos are saying that send back and Lenchi Tech, that they will do everything possible. And yet, our leaders are fighting for power. Land dispute. If our young people are being deported from Germany, Europe, the United States and other places, like I said, I received a call less than three hours ago from somebody in Casablanca who is on his way back to the Gambia. He's been deported back to the Gambia less than three hours ago. Instead of our government, instead of our politicians, instead of our leaders figuring out these things, how to suffer our lead, how to fix these problems, they are busy fighting over power. Instead of figuring how the health sector, come ni malen ko wache mala mane rir nafi, fanta kongi rir nafi, agnene agnene nyo hamne, they their diseases could have been cured, their diseases could have been um, uh, prevented, their diseases or, or illnesses that they have, whatever they have, could have been treated. Some procedures could have been done on them to take care of these things. Gambia is very quick in saying that. They need emergency medical treatment abroad. That they cannot cure them in Gambia. Because they don't have the tools. They don't have the resources. They don't have the technology and all other required stuff to get the job done. Instead of our politicians, instead of our leaders finding solutions to these things, they are busy fighting over power. Man limo ma jahal. Man limo ma confuse. Man lila ne kadi khala diko si suma bir bopabi. And thus, I am thinking or i was thinking i needed to share this with the world there is so much going on our education system is dilapidated our health sector is dilapidated everything in our country corruption bribery a couple of weeks ago we published a picture of a police officer that's sleeping on the job at the office like nothing happened the security of the country is at risk 
Yet, our leaders are busy fighting over power instead of taking care of the country and the needs of the country. Limo Majahal, thank you all. Following the memory lane to history, the story behind the freedom of this country is victory. See, people say that this is the same country that bore the pain her children suffered in vain with their hands and legs bound by the chains that enslaved them. Fought her way through the dark era of colonialism, held on farm and hoped for better days during those hard trying times when she was ruled by a dictator, a man who took over her, terrorized her children and left them in pieces from which they are still trying to recover. People say that Gambia is a peaceful place with an amazing culture. A nation so nice with a beautiful structure that it is home of legends with great legacies, home of icons who are praised with the struggles of whom the red, white, blue, white and green flag was raised. A nation known for its peace, love and unity, inhabited by people blessed with beautiful smiles of humanity. See, I am not denying any of that, but see, Gambia, Gambia is not everything people say it is. Do you know? Do you know that in the Gambia, corruption resides in the hearts of leaders? A place where politicians have plastic smiles fit on their fake faces, other sweet words and trick people into believing their nation builders. Instead, instead they're actors and two-faced cheaters. The majority of the young people in the Gambia are currently unemployed, even though they have the results, the degrees, the masters and all other required papers, which is why a lot of Gambian youth embark on the risky journey of illegal migration, a journey that costs most of them their lives as they drawn into that dream crushing ocean. You see, instead of figuring out solutions to this problem, everybody is busy pointing fingers. The young people, the young people blaming the government for not creating employment opportunities, for not giving them a chance to prove their capabilities. And the government, well, the government blaming the young people for their lack of diligence. See, Gambia being I just boy Bujanga by high school and all of a sudden drops out because he can no longer cope with the school system which he believes is too tough. Mutokir, where she I want you to go to the camp and and when he's tired of this, he turns to the streets and earns himself a certificate in robbery, trap and drug abuse. So far in an the cabinehood, Harris Amut Chona Biaga na Bedig Jehud Manda Disatu Madara do them back way. See in this country everybody dreams to live in luxury, but instead we dwell in never ending poverty. Do you know why? See, I'll tell you why. It's because in the Gambia people don't oppose each other with new ideas or innovations. No. In this country, people compete each other with judges and witchcraft connect the whole of tomorrow with bad intentions. So do not be surprised that there is still no development in our nation. See, we are blessed with beautiful black skins, but we have hatred and jealousy in the blood flowing through our thickest veins. Just for power, people in this country commit the darkest sin. The Gambia being I just put the so I knew what the name was even though more than half of the Gambian populace practices agriculture. In this country, a man can rape an innocent girl, take away her pride in the silence of the night and get away with it because we are so blind by our culture. No matter how this is gone, baby boy, we don't even support our own. Being I just a promoter who is willing to pay hundreds of thousands of dollars to a foreign artist, but is never willing to do the same for his own. So if you got artist who all day show, the number of people you find them you can count and know why. Check this if you foreign artist be new it. Kuneka diligently had his full clothes and tickets, all of that just for show. I mean, I know the Gambian music industry has some work artists who only release crappy songs. Some who are too busy hating and beefing on each other, which is totally all wrong. But but there are a few good ones who are hardworking and have proven to be strong. So why can't we appreciate and support our own? Like if we need to go see the be a new Gambia. Well, I tell you something. There is no new Gambia. There is just a new government ruling over the old corrupt system, a system under which we are all victims. In this so-called new Gambia, everybody writes and says what they want and call it democracy. Well, I don't know if it's just me or everybody else is actually turning them crazy. To the new government. We know y'all want to make our nation rise. Turn it to a country that will take all by surprise. But see, even development comes with a price. We have voted for change once. Who says we can twice? Power of freedom. Unless we try another one, because Lala said there is no new Gambia. If you believe there is no new Gambia or there is new Gambia, I don't believe there is. At this point, maybe then you are a Gambia. If this is what we are gonna get to, nu jai de kabirek mu jeh be na yon kune kanyu yohla sa kot. Our leaders are busy fighting each other. Instead of strengthening our democracy, instead of strengthening our institutions, instead of taking care of our problems, feel nyo muje, nin jai de kabi kune kanyu yoho sa ton rek be na sa pad rek mu jeh be na yon. Because de kabi de fajaka so. 
But why Friday though? Why Friday? Why Friday? The Ijame Fridays has come back. Bah, nah. 